Hey, hey, how's it going? It's Jonathan Glazer here, coming at you with another video. Um, this one, we're going to um, focus on Builderall and installing a Google Tag Manager. So, uh, this one um, has been eluding me for a couple weeks. I couldn't quite figure out how to set it up properly to get it functioning, um, but I knew it was going to be a very, very useful tool. So, if you're I'm familiar with Google Tag Manager. Uh, it's pretty much where you put uh, a script into your website and then you can use Google Tag Manager website to manage all your tags. So you can use the tags for Bing, um, AdWords, conversions. Uh, if you run YouTube ads, you can use it to track conversions, um, build a remarketing for YouTube, uh, remarketing for Bing. You can track all your Bing keywords and um, ad campaigns along with AdWords, keywords, ad campaigns. Um, you can use uh, analytics and it's got a couple, it's got some other uh, tags on there as well which I'm going to show you right now. So uh, what you're going to do first is you're going to, you're going to uh, find the website that you want to add this to. So next you'll go to Google Tag Manager. You can just Google that. So you know Google Tag Manager and it'll bring it up right there so you'll just click on this right here this is what you're looking for and you'll click on that and it'll bring up the website um, or you can click on this one right here um, but I've already got it opened up and so what I'm going to show you is just how to set it up uh, from start to finish so it's real simple uh, I've already got a few accounts I, I, I start new accounts for each uh, website and campaign that I'm running so what I'll do is I'll just set up another one we'll call it demo survey and then you're gonna pick your country so if it's uh, wherever you're at you'll just pick that and um, once you're done there you're going to click continue um, you're just gonna name it you know a demo and then web and uh, once you're done with that you're just going to click create go through the whole make sure you read all this um, you know standard stuff and then it's going to load and here is the tags you're going to get now this is very important this is what was um, this is what you're going to install that's going to allow you to do every all the functions but this is what was uh, stumping me for so long using Google uh, every single tutorial that I found uh, I mean using Builderall so every single tutorial that I found uh, was showing how to put it in a WordPress blog which didn't help me because I was trying most of my campaigns are set up with Builderall so uh, if you're in Builderall this is going to help you a lot uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to copy that tag you're going to come to your Builderall um, website editor that you, were, that you want to uh, put this in and this is where you're going to enter it. So you'll click there and click on the um, gear icon. You want to come down to scripts and then you're going to click scripts and then what you're going to do is you're going to come over and you're going to click the other one and then you're going to do the same thing it's going to go right in the same spot so it'll just you can double click a little bit and then uh, you'll enter it right there and next uh, is just click save and then you'll come over here and you're going to uh, save the website so it's that simple um, you know it's kind of funny how it took how I figured that out but uh, you know, I was putting it all over the place. I was putting it in the head, and then I was putting it there, and it just wasn't working. So, um, and then uh, I just decided to try that out, and it worked. So, uh, problem solved. Now I now I'm able to um, manage all my tags in here. So here's here is the next step: is once you have all that done, 
be sure to enter a tag first so you'll come to to this section here and click tag and then you're gonna hit new and it's gonna open this up so we'll we'll um, just label it being demo and I'll just do a brief um, tag for the Bing and you can actually see all the options you have so once once that's all configured these are the tags that you will have access to so you can do Google Analytics um, classical Google Analytics conversion tracking remarketing traffic um, and you're all you're gonna need is it's is the uh, ID for all these so if you uh, if you have a AdWords account and you go to set up the Google, the uh, conversion tracking is going to ask for your um, ID. So, and uh, I'll probably do a later video on that. I'm just going to show you real quick just what uh, you know this entails and how to actually upload that. So, I'm going to scroll. You can see everything you you have access to here. So you have a lot of tags that you can use. Uh, even the LinkedIn Insight and the, the Lead Lab. So if you got a hold of my training on a previous video. There's a section where it shows you um, how to create a, a similar audience with LinkedIn. You can use this for that tag. Um, and you can keep going down. And it's going to have all different types of tracking tags available for you. So very, very powerful. Um, but here's, here's what I've been using it for, which is to track my Bing accounts. So once you're done with that, uh, you'll go you'll go over to Bing and you'll get your U, uh, UET tag. So how you do that is simple. You'll go to your Bing account. And uh, you're just going to go to conversions tools. And again, I'm just using Bing as, a, as an example. Um, you'll go to conversion tracking. And then what you do is you're just going to go here and click on um, view do your tags and then you'll just set it up here and we'll just do a demo tag so you'll just create your tag name and then your tag description and what you're looking for is the ID number so that will be right here. And once you're done with that, you will simply just click that in there. And you're all set. So the next thing to do is to save the tag. And then you'll come down here and you're going to set a trigger. Which is going, you'll just do the same process. Just click new. And then, um, You'll come up to here, the little pencil here, and what you're going to do is, depending on how you are setting up your um, tracking, uh, whatever it is you're doing, so if it's a YouTube video, you know, form submission, if it's a capture page, we'll, we'll set up a form submission. If you just want, if you have links, specific links on there, you can set that up. If you want just engagement, you can do all elements. So, um, you know, it's, that, that's completely up to you. Um, and then you will just simply save, click save, and the next part is to go back to tags and go to Bing demo, and you're just going to add the um, you're going to add that trigger there, so just like that. But the main thing was that I wanted to show you was just how to uh, set that um, Google Tag Manager up into your um, Builder All pages. So the next thing you're going to do is submit this to make it go live and just keep the, uh, you know, the name, whatever name it was, and then you're going to publish it. And next you can do one of two things. You can add the, um, you can add a Chrome extension. Or you can simply, um, you can go to the preview section. Uh, let me get my page up first here. 
and I'll show you what I was doing. Uh, okay, so you're gonna you're going to open your website after you have it all installed. You will go to the um, preview section where it'll say preview, and it's going to show you if it's set up right. So what you'll do is you'll come to here. All right here, and then once it's set up, you're just going to click preview, and uh, it's going to tell you should have an orange bar here. Okay, it's going to say now previewing. So what you want to do is you want to go to here, and then you're going to re. Um, Refresh it, and then this this right here will come up, and it's going to it's going to tell you everything that you have. So as you can see here, um, the tag tag on this page is fine, um, but it hasn't fired because no one has submitted. So that's how you know that it's working. So each and every tag that you add to this page, it's going to do the same thing. So um, now if you want to add the extension, you're simply going to come over to um, the, the three, three dots here, go to more tools, go to extensions, and then uh, you want to type in, I believe it's Google Tag Manager Assistant. Let me see. Yeah, tag, tag assistant. So you're gonna type in tag assistant in your Google browser, or the browse the the browser up here. And then when it when it comes up, um, I think it's not gonna come up because I already have it installed. But it'll come up. You're just going to um, install it. And then what you'll do is you'll come over here. And you will, it'll either be um, green or blue. You want it to, if it's red, then that means it's not installed correctly. Uh, but what you'll do is you'll come over here, you'll click enable, and then um, start recording everything. So, and it it will tell you if it's not working uh, correctly. But uh, right now, this is how it's working. So uh, that's it. Very, very simple, very powerful uh, way to track uh, track your um, traffic and what's where the traffic is coming from and all that. So that's uh, that's uh, what I wanted to show you today. So I hope you got value from this. Um, if you haven't joined Builder all yet. Um, and you want to, I have the information in the descriptions below. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Comment below if you have any, any suggestions for topics. And uh, I will talk to you real soon. Have an awesome day.